grab your cuppa, grab a comfy chair, or take it on the road. This is improvity. Changed again. Yeah, you were taking a chair on the road now? No, no, no. I said, oh. or take your cup on the road. Um, See, grab a chair or take your cup on the road. Or are you, are you in some of the uh-huh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Did I already say this is improvity? Yes. I'll it's let you say it's that improvity part again. I'll let you introduce the show before I start it in on you. That's true. That way, you know. Well, it's, it's, like, con- it's like we almost are getting used to what we're doing here. But it's been so long. I know. Oh my gosh. We haven't done this in... It's been such a long time. Weeks. Weeks even. Probably a month or two. Because we've been busy doing stuff. Life. We actually... Well, we actually did gamble stuff where we went out to places and did the thing that we do. One of the things we do. We, um... This episode that you're watching right now is actually a recap of one of the big things that we've done recently. Um... That I don't even know about. You're going to explain to me because I will play the uninformed. You're hearing about it yeah. at the same time he is. Isn't that exciting? Right. Although they probably told me about it and I just didn't listen. But, you know, now I'm going to. Look it was It was for this. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> but we have also, we've also gone to the Central Missouri uh, Renaissance Fair. Yes. In... Uh, Central Missouri. Yes, is in Kingdom City, isn't it? Yeah. Kingdom City, where Renaissance Fair is. I like it. Second time there. It was a lot of fun. We had a blast. I love the I like the crew. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. I too. Like we're not gonna say any different on on a on a podcast or anywhere else, but I really do but like the crew. Were, they were great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you haven't seen any of those pictures, well, look for Aaron takes pictures on Facebook and they're there and they're great. Yes. Um, but now, this podcast, we're going to talk about... What are we talking about? Um, so, back in February, um, I had an event come up on my Facebook feed uh, for the open house of a new organization called Creative Place Healing. They are in cooperation with the University of Louisville health and hold on i gotta get this right public health and information sciences so is that the school U of L? and that's yes. the department in the school because there's a U of L hospital that yes and so i'm i'm very yes so this is a school and this is they're having a health department creative what's it called creative health and learning um the 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 part of of University of Louisville is called mm-hmm. the School of Public Health and Information Sciences. Nice. This organization is called the Creative Place Healing. Creative um, Place Healing. And they are this new um, organization uh, together with another group here in uh, Louisville that's just recent in the past six years or so come into come into their own called Ideas X. Lab X. Ideas X Lab. Ideas X Lab. I should listen when y'all tell me about this stuff. So, in February, they had this open house and they invited these um, um, people to come and check them out. They their their goal is to um, um. So use. they're building community for themselves to see who will come in and what they can use from, yes. from people's, from groups like us. I think so. Okay. <laughs> I, I, we're, you're still trying to... I went into this open house in February and I'm like, okay. I, I really don't even know what I'm going to get into here. If you know, if you'll scroll down, you'll see this in the Patreon list of posts way back there in February. I said, I'm here at this thing, and I don't know what it is, and I'm a little nervous. And I was a a heck ton of a lot of nervous (laughs) because I didn't know why, what I was going to find. I didn't know. um, Were you on your own there, or did you have? I was on my own there. Okay. Which is entirely okay. Um, I was alone in a crowd of people. (laughs) So you were, like, auditioning, or... Was like I a didn't room of people going over there. Okay. 
I didn't have to do anything. They, it was their opportunity to tell the public of which I was a part of what they were going to be doing. Oh, this is their open house. Uh, okay. Right. I yes. Gotcha. Um, my tea, by the way, is calm and, and collective, I think. That's what it's called. <laughs> oh, okay. I and thought you were just describing down. your tea. No, that's what it's called. You need it to calm down. Usually I drink the coffee to um, not calm down. Yeah. I've had to wake him up all afternoon. Anyway. It was a boring day. But now we're here. But now we're here. Um, and now I'm here, so it's not boring. So, in this open house, I saw, yeah, I'm just going to glaze yeah. right past Go for that. It. Um, the university, uh, not the university, the um, Louisville Orchestra, mm-hmm. their director was there um, talking about how how uh, some pretty great things that the, that the orchestra is doing in our community. Um, the... Louisville Ballet was there, and they did some, um, what is it called? Ballet? Uh, no, 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 no. It, oh, uh, um, dance? Da- uh, interpretive Interpretive dance. dance. Yeah. Thank you very See? much. <laughs> I'm here to translate for you, apparently. Yes, I knew I'd things get I, it. Things I don't even know that you're talking about. Right. Go ahead. So, interpretive dance. They had an interpretive dance piece. Um, about, uh, if I remember correctly, it was, um, isolation, how, how they had like five or six dancers and they, through their piece, represented how it felt to be isolated from a group, which was really a cool demonstration piece. They had a couple of, um, uh, the other phrase that I'm, that I always forget you know, the poetry, the spoke, spoken word poetry. Is that the one? Yeah. You didn't even have to do it. No, I did I was, all by myself. Good, because I was trying to get there. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Spoken word poetry. So they had a couple of people there doing that. Uh, one of them was, their piece was about um, the Appalachian culture and how it was displaced into other places. Yeah. For economic purposes. And the other one was a lady from, I believe she was from Smoketown here in Louisville, uh, talking about um, her experiences as a person of color. So there, there were some just big name uh, local groups around here. Absolutely. Some ballet and the orchestra. Yeah. Um, so what the Center for Creative Place Healing what their purpose seems to be is, and, I'm, and you can go, you can Google them, and you'll find them. They'll come up, and you can read their fact page. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because it's, it's really big ideas and big picture stuff. This is like a large mission statement. That's... Yes, and you can tell that they that they are out there uh, trying to trying to get grant money and all of this because they've got all the, which is something that I am not good at at all, but they've got all of the, they've got the mission statement. They've got the, this is how we're going to do it. This is the measurables that we're going to give back for the money that we're getting and all of this, which completely is outside of my wheelhouse. Completely. But like I said, the, the website is just really big idea. And if I'm understanding it correctly, it is a organization that wants to take artists in our community, different types of artists, and match them up to um, to community groups, children's groups. Um, like like Smoketown, like some of the school groups, and uh, and and help with um, how did they put it? Uh, they they leverage the arts. And their point is that the World Health Organization and all these different people have determined that um, that a lot of of the arts are useful in these things and then no one 
puts money in it. Right. And so they're it's going to even, go where they're at and then bring them to us. It's not even about nobody putting <laughs> money into the arts. It's about no one putting the faith arts, in it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. The arts are useful for helping emotional support. Yes, no one putting faith in it, but also like groups not putting money in it. Group money would be their faith in it because they're not putting faith in the, that being useful for these things. So this group says, hey, there's a merit to this, and they're bringing, they have an open yes. house, so they had an open house that said, all you people come in, and we're going to tell you what we do, and now, was there a flip side of that, where you had, where they want to talk to each person, like they want them to audition for them, or was it just saying, this is all open for all of you, or what well, was the... Well, okay, so I'm so sitting there, the, and I'm just taking all of this in, and and the open house was just what I was getting because nobody there knew me from Eve, you know. Um, so I didn't have any personal points of contact. I was just getting a really nice representation of of different of artists the arts in, in the community. In, in the local arts, basically. So, like you said a second ago, there... Their, what their mission seems to be is is to put the faith, put their faith in the artist to improve um, emotional well-being. Um, uh, like, let's see, they, they are addressing um, issues like depression and... Uh, substance abuse and social isolation in in these communities and in children's groups and that sort of thing. So they're they're matching up the artists with these people in order to better support okay. emotional health and well being. They're doing it in they're doing it in here in, in Louisville. As well as, I want to say it was McGoffin County? Sounds made up. It's, it's here in Kentucky. It's another county in Kentucky. I probably got it wrong, and I apologize. It was another Kentucky County, and, Mc, and my impression McGuffin. was that it was, yeah. that it was Eastern Kentucky. Is it? I don't know. Okay. But a MacGuffin in, in, in something is a made up thing that really doesn't. In a, like a movie, a MacGuffin. Okay, I was making a joke, but whatever. Go ahead. That's not what I was. No, about. I know. But so I get what you're saying. So they 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 did this and they gave the presentation of what they're about. But where do they go from there? So I walked out of that going, I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah? That was in February. Okay. March rolled by because we had a couple of different things that we were getting prepared for. Mm -hmm. April happened, and I sent them a contact email. I'm like, okay, look, we have this cast here of improvisers and uh, social dancers and we've, you know, been to your, your, your open house. We were really excited for all the enthusiasm that was shown there for, for the impact that the arts can make in our communities and in our, in our health, our emotional health. We think we could work with you. We think that this is a partnership that has to happen. And he emailed me back, and I'm floored because oh. oh my gosh, we got it. We got an answer. To this. Wow. I didn't expect it. That was April, um, and uh, uh, the director, who is, I think he's like an associate dean or something in that Very. department. Okay. With the University of Louisville. He was the one that actually received the email. He's like, okay, okay, okay. This sounds great. We're interested in learning more about what you do. Now, I'm going to put you in touch with now, Josh did, Miller. Did this 
person that received the email was it because that's what you looked up or did is that the is that the info that was given out of like contact this person right okay. it was contact information okay yeah and he just happens to be in so, charge of so it so this person i guess obviously the director kind of gets all these emails and's like that i like this one and yes. sends it sends it down to those people make this happen Says, okay, this is Josh you know, Miller makes it happen. this is Josh Miller. He's okay. the one that's in charge of all the artists. He is actually the director of the art Ideas director. Okay. X Lab. So you got on this one side, you got this this teacher or or dean or whatever he is from the University of Louisville, mm-hmm. and he's partnered with this artist with Ideas X Lab. And together they and they created this. Crumbs. No, okay. Crimes of the heart. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah, I gave you that one. That was the easy Thanks. one. I lobbed it to you, and I caught it. Um, together they yes, I did. I did. Together, together they created the Center for Creative Play Sailing. Ooh. So he put me in touch with Josh, okay. and not after me. not you. Okay. Goodness knows. Um, I can't help anyone tell if you. I mean, <laughs> after about a month, we had arranged a meeting date. Okay. Went in just two days ago. Jen, I uh, I got Jen to be so my. So this is this is why I asked what. Kick. So you and Jen had gone to this meeting. I, yes. See, I pay attention to things. I'm just not there. Right. I knew there was a meeting. He doesn't pay attention to anything no, ri- written, don't. though. No, I do not. <laughs> I am a visual and audio person. If you send me a an email, it better have pictures in it. Yeah. So <clears throat> Jen and I met. Um, Jen is my other Years assistant ago. director. Years ago, yeah. years ago, but for this instance, oh, we met up. Okay, we met up an hour or so before the meeting, block away something. to prepare for something you had no idea for, right? Yes. Yeah. Um. And and I'm basically looking at Jen, and I'm like, Jen, I, I don't have any more information than you. Have. <laughs> I've read their website. That's all I know. Basically, this is who they are. Um, I think I'm. You told everything you just told them, right? Yes. Cool. That's where we're at. Right. And here are the points that that I want to make about uh, improvised life and the gamble. And, And I want to make sure that they want us at the end of that meeting. Jen was just as nervous as I was going into this. I mean, well, you didn't, you didn't have, like you said, anything else to go on, but this information that you had to go on, that's all you had. Right. So you really couldn't prepare much more than that. But, but can we ever, I know we're improvised life and can we ever plan a thing? Because, I wish. I mean, we, we pull it off and to our credit, because that's the thing we do, but do we ever can, do we ever get a chance to plan anything better? Than okay, that? so I think that the brilliance of the gamble yeah. is that I've planned all of the right people in together to work together. I got lucky, <laughs> but so we go into this meeting and um, I had told I had had like this this epiphany moment last week. I'm like. Okay, well, this is what I'm going to say. This is how I'm going to tell them who we are, what the gamble does, what da, 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 and what we could do for them. And it was just boom, boom, boom. Three really nice, short, succinct paragraphs with enthusiasm and just buy into us sort of energy. Okay. You know, stuff that I can never really do in written form. Because succinct is not my middle name anywhere. I'm a very So you didn't person. write this down. I wrote it down. Okay. Jen was like, oh my gosh, you nailed it. And I'm like, y'all did, didn't I? That's pretty amazing. Okay. So at that point, I started thinking, mm, you know, this might go okay. This might be an okay sort of a thing. You went from 
from terrified to okay. So that's, that's right. a step up. This <laughs> might be this might be uh, this might work. presentable. Right. Um, Shooting for mediocrity. N- n- no. no. Oh, no, you no, thought it was going to no. be better than that. I told her I was like, you know what? Better we're gonna okay. we're gonna go big or go home. That is always something you've told me. Yes. That might be one of the things I've ever listened to you on, but go ahead. <laughs> We're going to take a break right there. Oh, yeah? We're at 24 minutes. Oh, yeah? I know, right? Yeah. It's just sped it's probably, up. yeah. Right. So, right now is your opportunity to, you can look away from the camera if you want. I don't care. Can I look um, away from the camera? No. You shouldn't. Okay. Um, um, this is just our break portion. Go get your, go refill your cup me i got some not you okay don't refill your cup cool um like i said at the beginning we are the gaelic gamble uh part of improvised life um what else if you are just now joining us for this that means you're a no i think this will be a public video yeah, of course it will. It will. So you need to be a part of our you Patreon. You just decided that, didn't you? Yes, I right did. And I am moment. with you 100%. Because that's how we do this. Yes. You need to be a patron, Patreon patron. You can do that you right do. now and get more of these videos talking about um, social skills and, and and how to be happier in your in your in your life, how to be happier in your well, environment. Well, and those will be, although this is interesting, I'll say they'll be more interesting than this because we're telling a story right. here and then I'll have my own input in those. And that, cause, right. Right. And the more that I can input, then the more you'll like it. Because you're a really I, inputting person. Yes. Um, <laughs> and at least I know words a little bit better, better than you at, at, at some points. But anyways... You can get in on that for as little as now. Uh, if three dollars will get you all of the podcasts and the and the write ups and all of that sort of stuff, and in into the Discord private, um, very safe servers for conversations. If you can't quite do three dollars and you want to still support what we're doing in the communities and and in all of our different environments, you can join us for a dollar and uh, support us and get in on the Discord server uh, if you're involved in the any of the Niantic games the uh, the. Wizarding did, World Unite. The Discord uh, server that many gamers use to communicate. Yes. Kind of like a Facebook form. Right. That, yes. Pokemon Go and I think Ingress Pokemon was the yeah. Pokemon Go. Is that what it was? Yes, it is. Sure. Thanks. Pokemon. 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 Anyway, that's a dollar. Still supports us. Doesn't get you quite as much, but it gets you a lot. It does. Because <laughs> we are a lot. Us. And you we can't. We are a lot. Speaking of a lot. Oh, yeah. We have what we call the inside joke. Sure. I I haven't even read the joke, but okay. Oh, my goodness. It's a groaner. Oh, good. That's... Those are always the best. Not really. So, no. uh, check this out. This, if you are joining us um, for the first time... We do these jokes as a bit of a, a buy-in for uh, those folks who are only hearing our podcast. They don't see the joke, so they don't know what the joke is. This is just for the folks that do the, the video part of the p- podcast. So we'll come back at the end of the, of the podcast and give you the... The answer. The answer. Or the punchline. The punchline to the joke. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Sam is not going to be happy with you for that. Somebody needs to erase that. Shoo. You take that away from me. I'm going to erase it now. Please. Erase it from my my brain, too. (laughs) Put up the answer in a little while. You're going to forget the answer by the end of this, but No, no, no. I've written it on the back. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Outsmarted me again, I guess. I did. Always do. 
All right, back to topic. So, ooh, what is it when when you watching the Batman? Back to topic. <laughs> ooh, no, no, something no, no, completely no. different. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> when you're watching the um the Batman cartoon episodes and he goes, ah, 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 and then the inner in the the guy the over. Voice guy comes the narration. In. Yes. What does he say? What does he say? Meanwhile, or yeah, same bat time, same bat. What are you? We're back. I don't know. I don't know, but I like letting you go for as long as I can. There was something. Sometimes I'll have the answer like a moment ago, and then I'll just let you go because I couldn't get to it. Somebody will get to it, and they'll put it in the comments or something. What? No. So anyway, back to back to the topic. We're just going to set that aside now. Because you didn't know it anyway. Because the narrator comes in and says... He says something about when getting When last back. we left our heroes... Yes! Okay. That's us! We're the heroes! Please save us then. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen and I, mm-hmm. we pre-gamed this for an hour before. Okay. We're feeling pumped and super nervous because we don't know what the heck... We're going to be getting into no clue. Such is life. Never met this person before in my life. Mm -hmm. We walk the block to uh, their office space and um, couldn't find a sign. (laughs) There was nothing there to tell us where we were. We had the address. And that's all we had. So we're the like the address of okay. a giant building that's U of L with many places. It wasn't. Go. It wasn't U of L. It was on East Main. Oh, like the home office of this of this group. Okay. Yes. And so we're looking around and we're like, okay, well, that's two numbers up, and that's two numbers down, and I think we're on the right side of the street. Is Let's like, go in! Is it like a Harry Potter deal where you had to go through the alley? Or? We just we walked into this building where there was some construction stuff going on on the first floor. You're still building the sign. <laughs> Not because... No, this the the so the buildings in Louisville are are multi stories and different businesses on on each story. So yeah. this group is on the second floor. <laughs> so go back in my emails and I'm like, oh yeah, he says right here that he's on the second floor. Let's push the elevator button. <laughs> Went up in the elevator and. Uh, he was there pretty pretty quick to welcome us in. Um, Josh Miller, very nice guy. Uh, just, just, you know when you sit down at a table and um, somebody shows so much interest in what what they expect you're going to tell them? No. <laughs> oh, but my yes. gosh. Okay, so he was very enthusiastic about what was going on and... Uh, in and they this, gave you the boost to be like, yeah, yeah, okay, so in this studied sort of way, this very calm sort of way, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to knock my energy down a little bit because <laughs> this is just be way overwhelming. Code switching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we sat down, and so in my head, I am recognizing the fact that. That the ramping down that I'm going to have to do emotionally and and just kind of <sighs> chill out a little bit is exactly where Jen shines. She's like all about the details and the questions and 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 um, filling in, supplying the information. So you, you played the way that you usually do when. The thing that you've done the most is like when you do the Maypole where you'll start here and she'll come back with this and it's, she'll give you time to adjust while she's talking to this man. And yes. You're coming down. Okay, now I'm ready. I gave like these big ideas right back at It really I, is a, a, a very amazing thing. It was, it, it was. Your two dynamic is. Oh my goodness. So, uh, I gave him this big, it, big ideas and I flat out told him, you know, 
that's great. I'm going to give you big ideas because you gave us big ideas in your website. So I think we can, you know, we can share something here because we're both big ideas sort of people. And I specifically told him, Jen is the one that's going to be able to answer questions and you, you know, didn't tell him we're a cult, right? I didn't tell him we were a cult. Of course, probably now he'll figure that out. <laughs> it's okay, Josh. We're not bad. <laughs> um, but I gave some big ideas about what the gamble through Improvised Love wants to do for communities and supporting people in... Give our mission statement. Basically. Yeah said, you know, that we're uh, all about communication and improving that for folks, and we do that with the tools of improvisation, uh, applied improvisation. And I specified that for him because it means something a little different than than the general idea of, of improv. Of improv games, because people think it's the whose line is it being right. gaming. And I, I believe, as I read something you sent me, a little pamphlet that we were making up for because of this situation, you call us applied improvisation facilitators. Yes. I was like, wow, that's good. We have I like time. that. <laughs> Is that? So Jen and I are bouncing back and forth between one another to try to supply him enough information to know who we are. Because I don't know that he really knew anything about us. I had sent him a couple of links, but, you know, you never know. What people have looked into. Right. Um, sat back, said, um, so we're sitting here and we think we're a pretty good fit for you. Um, but we don't really know what you're doing. What the Center for Creative Place Healing what they have their fingers in. So, and he was like, okay, so let me let me tell you about our projects that we've got going on. Wildly encouraging stuff. Really? Just uh, stuff with um, with school populations and and like I said before the the uh, the county in eastern Kentucky and um, a group that deals with paralysis patients. So, what they're going to do is is connect artists with these different communities to 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 just better their So basically they they look at the artist and they say, "What do you do?" And they look at like I see that and I think this will help these people over here. And they they kind of choose who you work with because they think they assess what you do and assess what you can do for these people, even though, I mean, it, it's a big range of stuff. They are, they're facilitators themselves of this art helping people yes. is what it is. Yeah. So they're like they the have mediators. to be the intermediator, in, intermediary mediator uh -huh. to, to do that, to match that up. Okay? Right. So. Right. So that, that's what they do. That's, that's what, what they're they starting do. to do because they're newer, right? Uh, yes. The Center for Creative okay. Place Healing is brand new. Um, People have been like using art and stuff like that and music for things like this for years, but it's never been like an on-the-books thing that we do. It's like, let's try this too. Right. So, so, um, so we're, we're sort of like artistic entrepreneurs uh we we go in and do things that don't really have a um a job description uh they it's don't hard to apply for a job when you don't have a job description right um there's not a there's not a a major that you do in college in order to get a degree that gets you this job. There's a lot of majors you do in college that will not apply to lots of jobs, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. But what they're doing is trying to, is trying to leverage these, these artists for, um, 
They're matchmakers. They're matchmakers. But I they are matchmakers. They're. We need to. We need to put this with this one. That's a good thing. I mean, that's a. There's a need for that. There is. Yeah. Because we wouldn't know where to go if people like that didn't. Exactly. You know? We've been sitting or, here spinning yeah. our wheels for a few months trying to figure out how to do with this your, thing. With your certain ideals of that, yes, because you you did have you do have grand ideals, and it's like okay, that's great. How do we do that? That's my job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's my job to have the big ideas, and I just don't know how to do it right. a whole lot of the time. So I was thrilled when, when this came across yeah, my I was like, radar. our job is to, to help you figure that out. Right. I don't have to be the one who goes out and looks for grant money, because goodness knows I can't do that. Um, so by the end of the this business meeting... business end and facilitating. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they know basically that the arts um, support and build people up and that we are wildly lacking in that sort of, of uh, emotional support in our organizations. And they're the ones who are going to put artists in touch with the people that need it. Hmm. So, I, I have many questions about these people now, but, you know. Okay. Just like, just... That I would need to look into them. Like, what? Where the, do they work here? Do they work with other places that I possibly work with now? Because yeah, you know, do they work with veterans? Do they work with just you know things like that? Is yeah, certain groups of yeah. I I don't know. Or do they know? Or is this a growing thing for them too? I don't know that that. I, yeah, I think it is growing for them. They because the the thing that he mentioned with the paralysis patients seems to be the next thing that they're going to be doing. Hmm. So it's not even Like this ongoing. is our first big thing. Right. So, Josh is, Josh looked at us and said, okay, what do you, what do you think our next steps are here? Now that we've figured out who each other is, what are what are our next steps? And we're like, uh, he asked you that, right? Yeah, I don't know. Is that is that I just want to see what these people come I, back with? I don't know. I don't know. Probably, probably he's just a whole lot better at the whole organization thing than I like it. And he's coming at it from a different spot than we are. So, uh. We're like, uh, I don't know what exactly <laughs> the next steps are. So he had told us about um, um, the organization. They're, what they're currently doing is uh, picking up a school group and matching them with uh, up to four different artists. And so the artists are going to be uh, waiting for the kids to tell them what they want from them. The kids have all of this uh, authority, basically, in writing out a class for them to help learn that what the artists That sounds very are. improvative. We're not even going to have a current, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Josh yeah. is going, um, so maybe I see you working with the artists. Hmm. Oh, Which is, because they might not know how to improv. Yeah. They might nice. not know how okay. to meet the kids where they're at. Nice. Because as a lot of us do, you know, you get really they, good at what you do. They know how to do their thing, but they don't know the. That's exactly what they do on a on a bigger scale, and they're trying to yes to facilitate it to the to the actual between the artists and the actual people. Yes. Yeah. That can. So, um, Josh says. So we need a one pager. Nice. And um, Jen's like, okay, I think we can do that. And he's like, so get that to me as soon as you can, and we'll see if we have uh, the budget to do this, to hook you up with this, because we're going to start training these artists in the next 
two or three weeks because it's a summer program. Nice. It's June right now, folks. <laughs> so this is going to happen really soon. Super excited. We shook his hand. We said thanks for having us. It's been great. He said the same thing. He walked us out. We got into the elevator. We got downstairs. We got down the road. And, we're, and, and I'm looking at Jen. I'm like, what's a one pager? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought there was a, going to be a point in the story where you both went, yeah, and just jumped up and high five. Oh, we did that too. Oh, okay. <laughs> we did that too. What's a one pager? <laughs> did this. Kill Jen, make her start laughing at you. We're both laughing at the oh. same time because she's like, okay, well, let's just Google this. Let's find out what this is. <laughs> let's Google I don't know. <laughs> I had no I, clue. I agree. We can do this. We can get if, this to you tomorrow. When this person sees us, he should know how good you are <laughs> at what you do because you convinced yourself before you left there. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And yeah. you've already done it by now because that's part of what you did. I read things you send me sometimes. So yes. you kind of linked me to this one pager. So, so what, as it turns out, a one pager for all of those of you out there who are like me and don't know what it is, a one pager is just literally a, a sales page, a pamphlet to describe so who you page, are. Oh, Yes. <laughs> Tell us who you are, what you do, and that's basically it. An introduction cheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, which we had all that information already. We just in you various just, you didn't places. have a physical copy to, or a digital copy rather, at this point. Right. The world to give out to people. Yes. And uh, as business happens, card in a. Right, we have the business card. card. Now we have this. Now, so uh, here's another thing. Oftentimes you don't learn how to do something or don't actually do it until you have a need for it. And we thought we had a need for it in the past, but we couldn't really quite comprehend what it is we needed to put down. Right, you need... You needed this to... I needed a reason to do it. Yeah, you needed this to kick you on. Oh, through. my gosh. So you had all these thoughts just jumbled around in here, and you didn't have the, the, the one page to put it on. It. That's right. <laughs> okay. I mean, all of these things are in different spaces doing different things. And that's how your head works. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> I know. Welcome to Tammy's brain. Yeah? Welcome to the gamble. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah. So that's I'm that story. <clears throat> and I am excited for uh, Improvise Life. Cool and I am that. hoping that uh, hoping that Creative uh, Place Healing can use us. Because we're dang good at what we do. We just want to get out there and do it. We are. And this is the first time of putting what we are and what we do on a one page report yeah yeah it, it really has been years of you trying to figure out what we do to it tell really somebody has else been. Really until, has a, been. until a person actually asks what do you do mm -hmm, this <laughs> you know, yeah slides of paper across okay. and we've talked before about how um you know the uh the energy you have you, you get an in, you get energy from different people. You have to, yes, to do things. You had to have the uh, feedback to to make it happen. Right. That's on another podcast somewhere down there. Maybe I'll be able to sure. link it for you. But yeah, yeah. So that's where we stand right now. You have to have the feedback to get it happen. Sometimes, if you don't get the feedback, you have to incite the feedback, which is basically what you've been doing here. Mm -hmm. So. Really cool story, bro. I'm I mean, so yeah. excited. Are you? Me I am. too. Now that I know what's going on, I you know that I should have known. Did you Did you tell me this in text and I didn't read it? I did. Yeah, sort kind of sort. I didn't know the whole thing. Multiple times. I, there's just I'm, I just really there's words and blink blink blink. You picture, oh, and you put pictures on the one pager too. There's a picture of us as a group and it looks all nice and neat. I mean, right. And you know what else I did? What did you do? 
No. Just I today. I never know. I No, you never know. Just today, I went on to our Discord and changed our little profile pictures. Yes, I did see that. I did I did know that because they were pictures and I paid attention. Oh, yeah, because you're a visual person. Yeah, and also one of those pictures of those things that uh, we made. For, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was fun. I needed a purpose, though. I needed a, a reason to change wow. those images. Sorry, I'm reading the the punchline over your shoulder. I'm writing it down for you. Yeah, that's great. Wait, that was a little smushed there. <laughs> so, you're going to give them the punchline there? I am. Do you have any questions about the uh, creative, the Center for Creative Place Healing? I mean... Did I answer everything? Do you have a better idea now? I have an idea of it. I, I have an idea of what questions to ask now. Oh, now, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, I didn't know who we were even speaking of until now. But yeah, I I will have questions once I digest this story and comprehend. Right. Because, I mean, that, that was us. That was literally us two days ago walking in. We don't even yeah. know the questions to ask. That'll come to you. Um, yeah. Yeah. That'll come to you within doing it just like everything that we do. So It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Yeah. All right. So, you ready for the punchline? You're not. You're, you're not. I mean, you, you oh, could be. Oh, Sam's going to hate me for that. Ah, I think you can read it. Yeah. They probably can, but should they? <laughs> you're going to hate it. <laughs> but it's really cute. And see, see, it's topical. It ties into art. Is that really? Did you? Yeah, I did. I I couldn't tell if you did plan that or not. But I did. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I did. You're good at your job sometimes. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> I don't. I just am sometimes. You just is. Yeah, I just he fall into it. <laughs> yep. I just show up and pull the cord. <laughs> All right, so join us and and can I join you? I want to do this thing that you talked about. Huh? I, want, I said I want to join you. I want to do this yeah. thing that you talked about. Sounds he wants cool. to join us, so you join us too and and be a part of the solution in in the communities around us. I'm usually a part of the problem, but sure. Don't be a part of the problem. Don't be a part of the problem. Cheers.